Let's take you live to Canberra now. The Prime Minister is holding a media conference with the Prime Minister of the Solomon Islands. Let's listen in. Very soon as well. Uh, two vessels uh, for the Solomon Islands. Importantly, uh, they are purpose-built for the Solomons. They'll be able to be repaired in the Solomons. Some of the lessons of the past uh, have been learnt in order to improve when we provide infrastructure to make sure it's sustainable and to make sure we're providing uh, training and skills uh, to maximise uh, the benefit for the Solomon Islands going forward. Uh, Pablo. You've spoken about some of the significant um, fiscal issues Solomon Islands is facing and the support that you would like. Would you like to see that in the form of direct support or a loan? You're headed to Beijing next. Is this something you intend to discuss with your Chinese counterpart? And Prime Minister Albanese, is this something uh, Australia is open to? And Julian Assange is expected to arrive in Australia this That's evening. That's a is that seamless something? segue. <laughs> uh, Are you you're this? probably getting away with it because of that coat. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, as a government, uh, our focus, of course, is on recovering the economy, creating jobs, unemployment, and income for Solomon Islanders. And uh, we, on that note, we are keen to work with all our partners. As I've said earlier, uh, as a small country, our focus and our interest is development interest. And we are keen to work with all partners, with Australia and China, how we can partner together to create transformational projects projects and programs in Solomon Islands that create jobs. We appreciate the labour mobility PAM scheme, as well as the RSE scheme, uh, with New Zealand, of course, with Australia. But going forward, I believe uh, creating permanent jobs in country, in Solomon Islands, is critical. And as a government, our focus is on the productive sector, forestry, fisheries, tourism, mining, those sectors are critical for us, that we would like to partner with countries like Australia and other partners going forward. Thank you. Um, we had a major part of our discussion was about economic development in the Solomon Islands, including uh, the growth in the renewable energy sector, uh, which is seen as a driver of uh, jobs in the Solomon Islands, uh, but also, uh, of course, a uh, a driver of lifting living standards as well by giving people access uh, to uh, clean and, and, and cheap energy. Um, we recognise and respect the sovereignty of the Solomon Islands and every Pacific Island nation. Uh, we recognise that economic trade uh, is important uh, for all nations in our region, including uh, with China, uh, which of course we have economic trade with as well and we understand uh, that uh, that will be the case. Uh, our position when it comes to the Pacific and economic development is very clear, uh, which is that we provide support uh, for the Pacific family uh, because that's who we are. It's not a transactional thing. Uh, it's not uh, something in which we uh, seek uh, to do anything other than have mutual benefit. Uh, so one of uh, the discussions that we'll have on an ongoing basis is how we can further assist uh, economic development, including, as the Prime Minister has said, uh, he's interested, as you would expect any national leader to be, in permanent economic development through job creation in his nation. Now, part of PALM and what it does and part of what we are trying to do as well is to give people skills that will then assist uh, back home as well. Uh, not just a one-off to come here and help our economy. We want to see that long-term benefit as well for the Solomons. And we're very confident uh, that we can uh, achieve that and we want to work towards that and we will uh, continue to have discussions as well uh, in the lead up to the Pacific Island Forum uh, in August. Uh, that will be an important meeting. And Australia regards uh, the Pacific Island Forum as as important 
for our nation as any meeting anywhere in the world, uh, because that is where our family gather and that is where uh, we need to uh, step up our engagement. And under my government, we have done that. I note that uh, in the short time in which the Prime Minister has held office, the Deputy Prime Minister Miles, the Foreign Minister Wong and Minister Conroy have all visited the Solomon Islands already and I thank the Prime Minister for his invite. Uh, with regard to your seamless Pacific Island issue of, uh, of Mr uh, Assange, um, obviously uh, the legal proceedings regarding Mr Assange are underway right now uh, in the United States. Uh, this is a welcome development but we recognise as well that those proceedings are sensitive and should be respected. Uh, this isn't something that has happened in the last 24 hours. This is something that has been uh, considered, patient, worked through in a calibrated way, which is how Australia conducts ourselves uh, internationally. Uh, given those proceedings are happening literally in real time, it isn't appropriate uh, to provide further commentary. Uh, we have engaged and advocated Australia's interests using all appropriate channels to support a positive outcome. And uh, you would now be aware of the consular assistance being provided to Mr Assange, including uh, the presence uh, right now of High Commissioner Smith, as well as Ambassador Rudd uh, there as part of providing uh, that support. I've been very clear as Labor leader and as Prime Minister that regardless of your views about Mr Assange's activities, his case has dragged on for too long. There is nothing to be gained from his continued incarceration and we want him brought home to Australia. That's something I've said as Labor leader, it's something I've said as Prime Minister and it's something that I will have more to say about uh, once these legal proceedings have concluded, which I hope uh, will be very, very soon. Thank you very much.